for Central Honiara, Julie Gege Oharo. Give a hand for her. So, if they say Honiara is the face of Solomon Islands, then Central Honiara is the apple of the eye. Is that right? But there's much to do in terms of this eye. I think I a little bit, no good little bit. There's much to do to fix this apple of the eye of Honiara, the capital of our nation. United Party, we're so privileged and happy to have Julie as our candidate for Central Honiara. We are pleased to have her because United Party believes in women leadership. <laughs> leadership of women is something that I personally am very much aware of, coming from a family of sisters and a powerful mother that we all call Superwoman. So I'm very much aware of the value that women bring to our families, to our homes, and to society. That is why United Party is so excited to have Julie as a member of our team for this election. United Party is united for change, as you all know by now. And we want to ask, is Honiara ready for change? Yes. Are you ready for change? Yes. I think you are ready for change. And the one that can bring you that change is Julie Gege Oharo. Yes. We are looking forward to usher in a time for Honiara that will rebuild this city to be the apple of the eye of our capital, Honiara. Honiara means a lot to many of us. I, for one, me my me born Honiara to here. Honiara Central Hospital is where many of us took our first breath of life. Nowadays, you go in there, you're not too sure of whether you'll be cured or whether you'll get even more sick. Such is the pressure, population growth, on that wonderful place we call number nine. That we start to think of the good old days where perhaps services were better. But I want to remind us Solomon Islanders and Honiara citizens that our best days are ahead. That candidate Julie Harrow will bring those days to us again. It is not going to be easy. It's going to need all of us, those of us who reside here, to come together and work together in unison to bring this to a reality. But we need a vision to get us there. And I'm very happy to announce and to say that Julie Gege O'Hara has that vision for Central Honiara. That vision is contained in the document that she's been circulating this afternoon. I'm happy to say that that vision is in line with the seven pillars of United Party's national agenda for change. Change. Change for the better. You can also change for the worse. That's true. But United Party is all about changing for the better. To change, we need to be united. We need to come as one. We have to leave our differences behind and focus on change. That is going to be a powerful weapon to transform this city into the city that we all desire it to be. 
Unity is so important for change. Because once we are united, change will happen faster. Programs will get implemented faster. People are willing to work together to make that change happen. That is why unity is at the heart of the United Party. As we all know, United Party is not a new party. It is one of the founding parties of Solomon Islands. What is new is its registration. We are a newly registered party under the new Act of 2014. The Political Parties Integrity Act. That required any political party who wants to contest in an election, we have to be registered. So what was supposed to be a three-week process ended up for United Party to be six months. It was not until we threatened legal action that we finally got registered on the 7th of January this year. My friends, there are forces within the establishment that don't want to see United Party rise up. These forces are working very hard to stop change from happening. But we have already started to tear down these forces. United Party is here. We have overcome that first obstacle. United Party is here to say, and those who are fighting change will end up in the wrong side of history. United Party is your party. United Party is the party for change. Why do I say that? Because United Party is the only party that's fielding more than 26 candidates. The magic number needed. The magic number needed for a one-party government. We are fielding 31 candidates, including Central Honiara's own Julie Gege O'Haro. 31 candidates. The next party close to us is fielding 24. Not even halfway of the Parliament House. And yet people keep talking about stability. How can you talk about stability when you're not even interested to contest and try and win it all like United Party is trying to do? 31 candidates for a newly registered party. A party that is struggling through finance because we're just newly registered. All our candidates are coming to us with their hearts because supporters are pushing them towards United Party. The people want to see change and they see that in United Party. That is the only party that they can see change coming through because United Party is all about leadership. United Party's motto is to serve man is to serve God. And that's very close to the national motto, to lead is to serve. Both these mottos have service in them. United Party is all about servanthood leadership. While politicians play the numbers game, United Party looks at leadership. When politicians look for numbers, United Party is willing to allow those to follow us to follow. United Party is about looking behind those numbers to see the people behind those numbers, to see and hear of your stories, to see and hear of your struggles and challenges. United Party is interested in us working together 
so that we can fix those challenges that you face on a daily basis. United Party also wants to hear about your hopes and dreams and those of your children. Nowadays, dreams are starting to die young. We keep coming across our youth who may have heard a bad result from one exam that would dictate the rest of their lives. We hear of youth feeling disenchanted because they have been missed out on a scholarship award despite them scoring those high marks. We keep hearing of youth who are looking for jobs, but then there are no jobs. The dreams of our youth are starting to die young. They shouldn't be. Dreams should live on, even into our older people. Not older people, but I should say the young at heart, yeah? The young at heart. Lives, those dreams should live on in their hearts. United Party is about hope. Hope is a word that has been thrown around so easily these days. Gets us up in the morning. That we can believe in a better tomorrow. If not for us, then for our children and our children's children. United Party is about hope. That is why we feel that the country is in need for an overhaul in terms of its leadership. I've said before that the nation is going through what I've called a leadership deficiency syndrome. It's a disease that has affected our leaders all throughout society, throughout the various levels of leadership from the national level right down to the community level. United Party is looking to cure that sickness of leadership that is affecting our country. Leaders by name only, but not by action. Leaders with titles of leadership, but not with substance. Leaders who started to tarnish our once respected national motto to lead is to serve by making a public, starting to make fun of that by saying to lead is to self-service. I have been around the world. I have visited many countries in my former job in the United Nations. And a few times I've gotten to places where people are curious about my nationality. Usually they think that I'm a Nigerian. I said, no, you're too far, I'm not even in Africa. And then their second option is Caribbean, maybe you're Jamaican. We say, no man, I'm not. But then when I tell them I'm from Solomon Islands, a few of them, those that know their geography, those that know their world history, tell me that we know Solomon Islands, and you're the first ever Solomon Islander we've met. But we know something about your country as well. We know that you have a motto that says to lead is to serve. We love that motto. We wish it were our own countries. Where did you get it? It allowed me, I'm not a pastor or a patre by any means, but it allows me to share from the Bible that this, this national motto of ours is a biblical motto about servanthood leadership. So it allows me an opportunity to share with people around the world who've asked me about our motto. United Party wants to breathe new life back into that motto. To really show what it means 
to lead is to serve. The days of to lead is to self-serve are being numbered. United Party is looking to come in through these elections and usher in a period of leadership for Solomon Islands. There is nothing stopping Solomon Islanders to support this cause because it is your cause. You have felt this leadership deficiency syndrome in your own ways. You have lived it. You have seen it. Leaders who don't have the pinch of guilt driving past a hospital, knowing that not one single cent of their non-tax salary is going to help buy those medicines.